This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way. This may look kind of rude. It's actually kind of good for you. Hello all, Amy here with you on D News today. You know how gum commercials always boast that their product can give you a fresher, cleaner mouth? Well, that's not entirely a lie. New research published online at PLOS One says that chewing gum is actually as good for your oral hygiene as flossing. When we eat, little bits of food get stuck between our teeth or behind those permanent retainers a lot of people have these days. If that food gets to hang out long enough, it will become a breeding ground for bacteria. That bacteria can lead to cavities and infections, and really isn't an infection in the main hole in your face that's pretty close to your brain about the last thing you want? Oral hygiene is important, not just brushing your teeth, but flossing too. Flossing is a great way to get those bits of food out from between tight spaces, decreasing the overall amount of bacteria in your mouth, but apparently so is chewing gum. Sort of. The researchers who ran the study enlisted five biomedical engineering students as gum chewers. They had the students chew gum for various lengths of time ranging from 30 seconds to 10 minutes. When the time was up, the students spat the gum into a cup of sterilized water. From there, it was analyzed. From analyzing the chewed gum, the researchers calculated that a single standard piece of gum can trap up to 100 million bacteria, which is roughly 10% of the microbes typically found in saliva. And that's about the same amount of bacteria typically removed from flossing. But before you take this as a license to chew all day long, there are a few caveats. Chewing isn't exactly the same as flossing, since flossing targets different areas of the mouth. And after just 30 seconds, a piece of gum starts to lose its stickiness, meaning it traps less bacteria. And not all gum is created equal when it comes to dental hygiene. Sugary gum basically feeds the bacteria in your mouth, while gum with artificial sweeteners actually has some antimicrobial properties. So if these findings pan out into a new line of dental health gums, would you chew? Let us know in the comments below or you can catch me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And a reminder that our sister show, Test Tube, is close to reaching 250,000 subscribers. So check out this video over here about whether or not college education should be free. If you're in college or maybe want to go to college but are a little worried about the financial aspect, definitely check out this video. And don't forget to subscribe right here for more D News every day of the week. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way.